Uh, I am Dr. Javed Ahmed Ujjan, Associate Professor, Department of Zoology, Shah Abdul Latif University, Kharapur. And today we have second online video lecture. Uh, the topic of today's presentation is meiosis cell division or uh, meiotic cell division. And this is for class uh, MSc previous and subject cell and molecular biology. The outlines for today's presentation uh, includes the introduction of the topic and the very important terminology according to the topic and uh, bifurcation of topic into meiosis 1 division, meiosis 2 division and uh, other will be the importance of meiosis cell division and uh, the final uh, subtopic we will study here would include the meiosis and mitosis cell division difference. First we are going to define the meiosis. And meiosis is the type of cell division which is usually known as a reduction cell division uh, because the number of chromosomes per cell is reduced to one half of the original number of chromosomes through the separation of homologous chromosomes in the diploids. ये इस तरह की cell division है जिसमें कि जो क्रोमोसोम का number है वो reduce हो जाता है one half of the original cell in the in a mother diploid cell में वो आधा हो जाता है और इसकी main बात ये है कि वो कैसे आधा हो जाता है वो through the separation of homologous chromosome we also can define the meiosis cell division is just like the division which takes place in ovaries of the female or testes of the male and involves the formation of eggs and sperm cells. This is a very essential type of cell division which takes place in all we deployed sexually reproducing uh, uh, organisms uh, in order to produce the gametes which should be haploid in number means half the chromosome number then the deployed number so that while formation of the zygote after the fertilization, it can generate a normal individual. So therefore, this cell division meiosis is very essential. Meiosis cell division is also can be defined as the special type of cell division only takes place in sexually reproducing organisms to produce the gametes, such as sperms and egg cells. Uh, and in this cell division, uh, in order to understand this process this is a huge long process uh, it is divided into two deviants one is meiosis one other is meiosis two uh, in the two rounds of the deviant ultimately result in the four cells all four haploid cells will have one copy with one copy of a chromosome so before going to start detailed process of cell uh, meiosis cell deviant i should define certain terms gamete uh, gamete is the sex cell which is uh, contain the half, uh, half or one copy of the chromosomes in humans and this gamete we call sperm in case of males and eggs in case of females. Tetrod, uh, tetrod or bivalent structure which is consists of four chromatids which is formed in meiosis one division prophase uh, in which uh, two non-sister chromatids they exchange uh, material, genetic material. Meiosis a two-step process of cell division which is used to make the gametes or sex cells. Interface uh, we have already described in non-video lectures and even uh, last previous uh, video lecture that it is a phase of cell division where cell growth and uh, DNA replication or copy of the DNA uh, formation takes place. Uh, deployed uh, organism deployed we are deployed organisms because we contain two and uh, 2n number but our chromosomes are in uh, in uh, uh, two numbers in a uh, plural number so we use to denote two and n means number of copies of the chromosome so deployed organism have two sets of all the homologous chromosomes haploid have only one or single set of them so another term uh, which is very important to be discussed to be known by for the student uh, homologous chromosomes. Homologous chromosomes 
or the pair of chromosome or set of chromosomes uh, in which one comes from father, one comes from mother, uh, from the father uh, known as paternal, from the mother known as maternal. If we give them two colors, then after replication, two homologous chromosomes may contain uh, of two sister chromatids of the paternal. And after replication, similarly, uh, maternal or from mother side, that after replication may have the two states are two chromatids. One this, one this. So, homologous chromosomes is six chromosome which have uh, in which two chromosomes are of same size, same shape, and may contain similar type of genes on the same locus. Sister chromatids are the chromatids of the same chromosome, just like these one chromatid, this is another chromatid, or this is one chromatid, this is another chromatid, both are the sister chromatids of one parent or, or other. Uh, another term which is very also very important to discuss, uh, two terms perhaps crossing over as well as chiasma or chiasmata. Crossing over is the process in which the homologous chromosome exchange portions of the chromatids during the meiosis. Meiosis, क्या होता है कि ये जो meiosis one division है, process one उनका है, उसमें during the pachygene stage, crossing over of genetic material takes place means exchange of segment of chromosome one with another chromatid takes place. So this is known as crossing over in which genes of one chromosome are transferred to other and genes of other are transferred to other chromatids. These chromatids are non-sister chromatids because although this is one chromosome, this is in a blue is another chromosome. This is one chromatid of that chromosome and second chromatid of that chromosome. These two chromatids are sister chromatids of one chromosome. And similarly, these two chromatids are also sister chromatids of another homologous chromosome. But the exchange takes place between the one chromatid of one homologous chromosome to uh, another chromatid of homologous chromosome. So these, uh, in between, they are non-sister. They are themselves sister. So this will uh, cause the exchange of the genes. Uh, for example, I, J, K from this blue and J, K, L. Uh, from this uh, pink so here you can find uh, the product in the pink you uh, in the blue you find uh, uh, pink genes as well as in the pink you will find the blue genes a uh, jkl so this 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 part is exchange part after this exchange uh, of uh, the exchange of the genes of the two chromatids takes place at the point uh, of Kaisma. Kaisma means Kaisma Urdu may ye kehte hain ke tasallut tasallub sorry yani ke khutut ya daagu mein ek dusre par is tarah se guzarna ki x ki shakal ban jaye x structure ye jo ban rahi hai isko hum Kaisma kehte hain the point at which crossing over takes place between two homologous chromosomes via their non sister chromatids uh, unko hum crossing over kehte hain jisme ke एक होमोलॉगस का के जीन्स दूसरे होमोलॉगस के क्रोमोसोम्स के क्रोमेटिड में चले जाते हैं जिसमें डिफरेंट जीन चले जाते हैं तो इस तरह से अच्छी एक कोई भी डिफरेंट टाइप आप अच्छी हो या बुरी हो मारा डिफरेंट टाइप आप वैरायटी बनती है तो ये क्रॉसिंग ओवर होना बहुत जरूरी है तो क्रॉसिंग ओवर इज द एक्सचेंज ऑफ पोर्शन ऑफ द क्रोमेटिड इन द मियासिस वेयर इज काइस्मा इज द पॉइंट व्हिच इज एक्स शेप्ड इन स्ट्रक्चर in which cross of one chromatid by other chromatid takes place at that point is known as chiasma formation or chiasmata formation. So these are genes supposed to be Next, uh, this, uh, the crossing over is very important. Why? Because it produces a new individual with new combinations because of different genes, help in establishing the concept of linear arrangement of genes, and help in mapping of chromosomes, as well as selection of useful combinations. History of meiosis. Who introduced the meiosis? Meiosis was first described and discovered by a scientist uh, who was a German biologist known as Oscar Hartwig in sea urchin during his study on sea urchins in 1876. Later on, again in 1883, 
uh, at the level of chromosomes by Belgian zoologist Eduard von Beneden in uh, uh, while his study on SKS one eight. That, however, the term meiosis was coined by J. B. Palmer and, and J. B. Mori. So, where meiosis takes place? Meiosis, as we have already defined in eukaryotic cells, uh, in which sexual reproduction has occurred, occurs in re, uh, for the production of reproductive cells or meiocytes, and uh, um, uh, gamete uh, purpose of this cell division uh, formation of gametes, but it occurs in higher plants before the fertilization, but uh, in lower plants and human beings before the fertilization uh, in order to produce the haploid gametes. Uh, so haploid gametes, uh, sperms through the process of spermatogenesis in males, male testes and ova in case of ovaries of females through the process of oogenesis. However, during the meiosis, DNA replication takes place only once, but nucleus divides twice. Very important. Uh, detail, the, what are the stages of meiosis? The complete process meiosis takes place uh, uh, in two separate division uh, in, in which one parent produces four haploid uh, gametes or eggs in females and sperms in males. So each round of cell division go through four stages, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. All these four stages take place in meiosis 1 as well as all these take place in meiosis. So what is meiosis 1? Meiosis 1 is the first round of cell division in which the uh, goal is to separate the homologous chromosome. Meiosis 1 jo hai, us mein homologous jo jo chromosomes hai, ye dekh lehen ki ye char hai chromosomes, is mein ye red, ye blue ka homologous hai, ye dousra red, chote kad wala jo hai, dousre chote kad wale blue ka homologous hai. So total ye char chromosomes hai, yane two couple hai, Two pair of chromosomes hain. Ye iska homologous hai. Ye iska homologous hai. Although ke donu homologous pehle hi diploid hain. Wo pehle hi uh, usme uh, interface ke thuru cell mein duplication hui hai. Replication hui hai. To ye homologous. To in ki separation hogi. Is meiosis 1 mein just homologous chromosomes ki separation hogi at the end. Uh, meiosis 1 reduction diploid cell produce two haploid cell. Ultimately goal kya hoga? Two haploid cell produce hogi. Wo dekh lehen. ये प्रोफेज 1 में ये फोर क्रोमोसोम्स हैं जिसमें ये दो होमोलॉगस ये दो होमोलॉगस क्रोमोसोम में पेयर अप एक्सचेंज ये फ्रेगमेंट ड्यूरिंग द क्रॉसिंग ओवर एज वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस ड्यूरिंग द प्रोफेज एंड देन ऑन द सेकंड फेज कम्स द मेटाफेज इन व्हिच क्रोमोसोम लाइन अप ऑन द मिडिल प्लेट ऑफ द स्पिंडल फाइबर्स एंड नोन एज मेटाफेज प्लेट एंड एनाफेज द होमोलॉगस क्रोमोसोम मूव टू Opposite poles. These this, uh, red is homologous of the blue, uh, so they move to opposite pole. And similarly, sim uh, uh, in similar pair of uh, the homologous chromosome, blue separates from the red one. However, they they do contain this exchange part of the cross over part of the segment of the uh, chromatids. So they do have the variety, but the ultimately goal is separation of these homologous chromosomes. You see here in the end. Two haploid cells are each chromosome with two non-identical sister chromatids. Uh, here you can find that uh, one uh, uh, one chromosome um, blue and other is red. One blue uh, uh, of large uh, size and one uh, red of smaller size. They are together in one cell and similarly in other cell uh, one red of large size. Uh, this, uh, this chromosome and uh, one small, uh, small size blue is here. So both these are non-identical, non-sister chromatids. This chromatid is non-sister to this chromatid. So their separation takes place in meiosis. This is the whole sum of meiosis one. Uh, so we have to uh, explain it uh, uh, through it, all its phases. First phase is prophase one. Again, prophase one is very large phase. So it is divided into five stages. Uh, the summary of prophase one will, would include it uh, occupies almost 70 or uh, 90, sorry, 90 percent of whole meiosis cell division. This prophase one occupies 90 percent of meiosis cell division, uh, and chromosome begins to condense in this during the prophase one. 
DNA exchange between the homologous chromosome in a process uh, known as homologous recombination जो के मैंने बताया कि क्रॉसिंग ओवर होती है ये जिस तरह क्रॉसिंग ओवर का इसमें था कि जगह पे एक नान ये जो है क्रोमेटेड दूसरे क्रोमेटेड के साथ क्रॉस ओवर हो रहा है ये एक्सचेंज हो रहा है जेनेटिक मटेरियल ये होमोलॉगस क्रोमोसोम इनकी होते हैं पेयर्ड बाय एंड रेप्लिकेटेड क्रोमोसोम्स आर नोन एज बाइवेलेंट आर ट्रेटॉर्ड एंड ट्रेटॉर्ड वी कॉल बिकॉज़ द फोर क्रोमेटिड्स आर ओवर हियर एंड द प्रोसेस ऑफ पेयरिंग ऑफ द होमोलॉगस क्रोमोसोम इज नोन एज साइनेसिस ये जो पेयर कर रहे हैं इनको हम साइनेसिस कहेंगे और एट द सिस्टर नॉन सिस्टर क्रोमेटिड में क्रॉस ओवर ईच अदर थ्रू द पॉइंट क्राइस में का इज ये अब so this prophase one is very long phase it is divided into five sub stages first stage is leptotene stage uh, during which uh, chromosomes are also very big and uh, uh, they are thin in size Lep leptotene is derived from the leptonema word and greek word which means thin threads chromosomes because they look like thin threads they uh, begin to condense but still they are big and very thin so not clearly visible Uh, to sister chromatids during this first stage zygote in the second sub stage of prophase 1 during the zygote in at this zygote is also known as zygonema and which is also uh, derived from greek word means paired threads here you can uh, clearly observe the uh, little bit thick chromosomes and they are paired and the non sister two non sister chromatids are joining over here and this is from the bivalent and the zygotein occurs as the chromosome approximate line up with each other into homologous chromosome and through these non sister chromosome a recombination crossing over also takes place the combined homologous chromosomes are said to be bivalent third stage is pachytene stage this is the actual stage in which this uh, exchange of uh, uh, chromosome takes place and uh, crossing over takes place how is the chromosome not very much visible this exchange is not very much visible uh, until the diplotene uh, stage uh, the sinus is uh, sinuse homologous pair of chromosome is known as tetrad because it consists of four chromatids this is tetrad because it consists of four chromatid 1 2 3 4 4 and similarly this is also tetrad because four chromatids 1 2 3 4 and it can't be observed until next stage because in the this diplotene stage they further uh, reduce in size further thicken condense uh, so the, this would be visible although this exchange takes place in pachytene but very much visible in the diplotene stage and diplonema greek words means two thread and homologous chromosomes separate from one another are little and homologous chromosomes themselves uncoil the bit some transcription due to some kind transcription of the DNA diakinase is the fourth uh, uh, fifth is final stage uh, and by uh, further contents of these chromosome takes place means moving apart and the first point is we have there four uh, parts of the tetrad are equally visible very much visible in final diakinase stage homologous chromosome further separate and chiasma terminate Here, chiasma will uh, terminate and they become very much visible. So this over the prophase one of the first meiotic division. Then comes second stage metaphase. Meta means middle and meiosis. Uh, metaphase one, second phase of meiosis. And in this chromosome line up over the middle plate, uh, mid plate, homologous chromosomes. Uh, 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 they line up around the middle plate on the spindle fibers. During the this third stage, the N phase. During the N phase, likewise, the uh, uh, we have discussed in case of the mitosis that uh, the two chromosomes of each bivalent separate and move uh, towards opposite pole. Uh, these two chromosomes move towards the opposite pole. N phase sister chromosomes remain attached at the center of the and move towards the opposite pole. As shown in this picture. In the telophase stage, all these chromosomes reach the on their poles. And cleavage follow will appear to divide the cytoplasm because karyokinesis will be followed by the cytokinesis before the cytokinesis begins. The nuclear membrane reappears and the nucleola and the cent uh, centrosome produces two centrioles and uh, 
the spindle fiber disappear and cytokinase occur will appear. Then the second meiotic deviant takes place. Second uh, meiotic deviant uh, of the two previous haploid cells takes place to produce the four later cells. However, unlike the mitosis uh, cell deviant here, no, uh, unlike mitosis cell deviant, cell goes through a second round of chromosomal, uh, does not go uh, second round of chromosomal replication here. Here, uh, either replication koi nahi hogi dobara. Replication ek martaba hi wo ho gayi uh, jo interface mein hui thi. Bas ek martaba hi to ban gayi. So ab ab jo hai kaisa hoga? Ab second round of cell division mein meiosis two mein the goal is to separate the uh, sister chromatids. And pro, uh, in prophase two, the nuclear envelope breaks down and spindle apparatus forms. This nuclear envelope is starting to be disintegrated and these spindle fibers get formed uh, and uh, uh, the starting material will be two haploid cells. This is one haploid cell and this is a second haploid cell uh, product of the first meiotic cell. This is second meiotic cell. So this is one uh, and this is another cell. Both are haploid cells. No, uh, uh, no uh, replication of chromosome takes place. These are haploid cells. Just here, goal is to separate the sister chromatids. Sister chromatids means this is uh, this is one home, uh, uh, one chromosome. This is another chromosome. This is one chromosome. This is another chromosome. This have these uh, uh, this chromatid is sister chromatid of this chromatid. Similarly, this chromatid is sister chromatid of this chromatid. So here, goal is to separate these chromatid from each other. This chromatid has to be separated from this chromatid. Similarly, this chromatid has to be separated from this chromatid. So here in the metaphase, the chromosomes come line up on the middle middle cell plate, and these are still together, blue and red. Although they have exchange part from where crossing over already takes place, but here goal is to separate these uh, um, these sister chromatid. So here you can find an anaphase. The one sister chromatid goes to one pole, other sister chromatid moves towards other pole. Similarly, blue color shows one sister chromatid, one pole, other means separation of sister chromatid and telophase. They arrive at the different poles and and they become separated from each other. One sister chromatid separated from other sister chromatid and ultimately go uh, uh, to uh, four haploid. This is one haploid, this is second haploid, this is third haploid, this is fourth haploid, which you can't see here over my under my picture. So four haploid cells are produced in meiosis two. So what is the uh, difference between the mitosis or meiosis cell? Because we have already discussed two video lectures on these uh, mitosis as well as meiosis cell deviant. What is the difference uh, if we, we observe that suppose these are the two parent cells in, in one uh, same type of cells and uh, in, in then uh, meiosis takes place and mitosis takes place. They have the two chromosomes their replication takes place and, uh, and, their, and replication of their takes place also at the cell. So the four chromatids are formed in these two uh, chromosomes here also. Four chromatids are formed but during the meiotic one division, here meiotic one division, there is no need to meiotic one division. They line up, they line up, they form the synapse, they exchange their genetic material in the prophase of first meiotic cell division. And they form tetrad means four chromatids together exchange their genetic material, but in might have no exchange of genetic material. They just uh, move separate homologous chromosomes, line up individually in equatorial plate. Then separation of uh, these uh, homo uh, these sister chromatids takes place. One sister here, one sister here, in. and one sister chromatid of this here, and one sister move towards this pole. So two cells are formed like the parent one but neither any exchange portion um, uh, no exchange no chromosomal exchange no genes exchange takes place just separation of these chromatids takes place but in case of meiosis exchange of genetic material takes place and the uh, two chromosomes having the chromatids they move uh, separate from each other two, two homologous chromosomes move here here just directly two chromatids move uh, separate from each other in the first stage of first meiotic deviant, only homologous chromosome gets separated. This is one homologous chromosome, this is another homologous chromosome. This is one homologous chromosome, this is another. So these are two homologous chromosomes. In the meiosis first deviant, only homologous chromosome separated from each other. 
and in the second meiotic division, uh, the, these uh, chrom uh, sister chromatids they get separated from each other like the uh, like the mitosis cell division. Uh, but in first stage, uh, only homologous chromosome they separated from each other. So this is the comparison of meiosis. Might have further we can even study that uh, importance of me meiosis that uh, meiosis produce haploid gametes. So uh, on zygote formation, their number remains constant, diploid, become diploid, and an individual will be formed with the genetic variability due to crossing over or recombination of genes. Independent assortment of chromosomes takes place uh, 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 during the uh, because of the crossing over, and uh, random fertilization chance becomes visible, and new varieties will be created. And in fact, this is known as. Uh, of raw material for the evolution because different genes from different varieties they get exchanged uh, like liger uh, 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 is formed with a combination of the tiger as well as the lion so this uh, in human beings also if they have uh, different male and female then good combination uh, could be produced and exchange of material with crossing over takes place and good progeny can be observed so this cell division is very important and any two parents in Kuruburur with a zygote with 70 trillion diploid combination. So they have separate gametes and separate combination and are taught independently. So good variety can be produced like the ligand. Another uh, slide, this also compares the difference between mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis is only body cells. And meiosis takes place in only reproductive cells. Um, uh, are, uh, we can say meiotic cells or uh, germ cells and mitosis as uh, the, the chromosome number reduced uh, the chromosome number remains same throughout generation and quantity quality of genetic material remains same but number of chromosomes half uh, of original cells in case of meiosis in mitosis daughter cells identical to parent cell in case of uh, meiosis daughter uh, uh, cells are genetically different from the parent cells why? Because no crossing over takes place uh, in case of mitosis. So here they are different because crossing over takes place here. They are identical to parent because no crossing over takes place. Two daughter cells are formed. Four daughter cells are formed. Homologous chromosomes do not come together. Homologous chromosomes they come together in the first meiotic division. There is no exchange of genetic material. There is no exchange of genetic material. Thanks for your attention. And today's end of this lecture. I hope.